Hey there humans, YouTube Rope Flow Coach Timothy here once again. And in today's video, we've got another one-handed pattern, but this time, as opposed to the underhand direction we're doing it in before, we're gonna go reverse it and go in that overhand direction. Shall we get started? Let's go. Okay, now that we're warmed up, let's begin. As some of you may be aware, I really like one-arm flows. Now the reason for this is because it allows us just to focus on all the spirals and figure eights that are happening on that one side when we roll rope. And then when we add the two hands in, we, we kind of have that pattern downloaded into that shoulder, into that wrist. So we kind of know what we're tapping into more. So it allows us to practice, but it's a little more flexibility, a little more freedom because they're not anchored to that other arm. If you saw the previous one arm tutorial I did on YouTube, you would have seen that it's this kind of, I call it a triple spiral. There's three revolutions to one cycle of the pattern. And it's this very beautiful like shoulder whip and rotation where we can get the whole body in. On the surface, there are three layers to what I deem rope flow to be. When you begin with rope flow, it's very much all just what's happening at the hands and maybe the shoulder as well. As we progress to layer two, the spine and the ribs start to direct the shoulders and the arm as well. And then onto layer three, the feet start to really tune into what direction the ribs and the spine are pulling it and they start to shift so that we land our weight on one foot at a time. And that's sort of into layer three. So maybe you got this one arm flow down. You really love the feel of it, the way it makes your body flow and you get this spinal wave that's not just an up and down spider wave, it's kind of a cross body. You know, you do it on the other side, you get the other side cross body as well. Well, what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna reverse the pattern, break the cardinal law, as we say, and reverse the pattern. And it's another triple step, or triple spiral, one arm pattern, but on the other side. And again, just like before, it spins once in front, two behind, one, two. One in front, two behind. For the sake of minimizing this and shrinking it down to its essence of what this pattern is, it's triple stroke, one in front, one behind on the same side. Over the head, hand comes kind of to the atlas bone, back of the neck. We rotate at that point and we flick away. So it's this boom, boom. You can do it just with the arm. Boom, 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 boom. And we've got this scoop with the hand. Boof, boof. Don't worry too much about copying my, my spine and my footwork in the beginning. That'll all come once you do the pattern enough and you kind of follow the way the rope's pulling you to go. In the beginning, it's just this, this underhand scoop to the back of the neck and then throw and then reset to here. However many spins that takes you just to get there. We're in front here in this propeller going, I'm anti-clockwise in my right hand, right? Comes behind me and then scoops up. We need to get that scoop up that scoop's gonna help us so much with our sneaks as well later if you've not got the sneak down. Drilling this is how you get that sneak down. So it's this scoop up, boom, throw. Then there's that explosion point. You can go harder, you can just flow it. Boom, it just feels so nice on the shoulder. It's just, the rope isn't too heavy. It's not like a big mace. You can do this stuff with maces as well and it'll feel good if you've got that strength and mobility there or to help build it. But just to get the pattern into the body, such a safe way to get thousands of reps in in a short space of time. There's nothing like the rope for it. So you break that down, one, two, three. One, two, three. If you wanna play with that a little bit more, if you're exploring that yourself, you will find that it naturally flows into a four or a five stroke pattern as well. So just to demonstrate the four stroke. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to the beginning. The four stroke pattern, you add in an extra swing on the back side of you after it comes from the throw you don't come straight to the beginning again. You come straight behind and then you come through there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It swings behind me, my arms behind my body three times and in front only once. And actually what you might find flows even better, not to get too complicated on this, is the five stroke pattern where there's two strokes in front and three behind. This actually feels like the ultimate way to flow this one arm pattern, but I definitely say begin with the three stroke pattern just to get that down. And then as you start to relax and feel the way the ropes kind of pull in your wrist, you'll discover this five stroke pattern. So just a demo, it's two in front, one behind. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you see 
That fifth one, as we come from behind, is this, just as that, and then it rotates in. So we're here, and then it rotates in to scoot behind. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see with every scoop, this is what this body is. This, this is a whole body practice. When you get down to that layer three, when you get from the beginning, don't rush it. Feel what it's doing in your arms and your wrists and your shoulder and your spine. But you'll start to feel this wrist and this foot are connected. If this is turning, I'm rotating this way. As this scoops around, I'm, the, the arm is here. Look, boom, they're working together. When you run, it's this contralateral motion that's happening. The whole body is learning to sync when we're doing patterns like this. But just for that moment, we're here. Nothing is being forgotten. There you have it, folks. Hopefully you can see how much I enjoy these one-arm patterns, especially these two. These are the two, you don't have to really practice with others. Maybe other stuff will start to flow and come, but start with these two one-arm flow patterns. And if you can have half as much joy as I'm having with these patterns, I know you're gonna have a good time. Take your time with it. Learn to relax into it. Learn to just allow the weight of the rope to guide what the body is doing. Allow the rat, like wrist to relax and not force things. The body will find the rotations and spirals on its own. And you get to witness the beauty of the human body and the way it's designed in this kind of 3D cog manner where everything is related in this tensegrity structure. And then when we rotate one thing, we should rotate others to complement it and work together as one unit. So if you like that video, if you learned something from it, you're gonna give it a go, please give it a like. If you've got any requests for any other tutorials, leave me a comment below. If you wanna get started and get a bit more serious about your practice, we've got the eight week rope flow course down below. If you wanna get a rope from myself, we also sell ropes as well. Other than that, check out another video on the channel. Stick around or I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. One on flows, guys.